Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting Spatial Work tutorial. Today, we wish to share with you the latest feature from Spatial Work version 17. It is called the Gaussian Splat Runtime Editor. The main focus of this version is to advance spatial distribution to a stage where all discussion platforms can be natively supported, edited, and further integrated with other spatial data. Before we dive into the tutorial, let me give you a brief overview of what Gaussian Splat is and why we are focusing on this feature. Gaussian Splatting technology is used in the field of real-time radiation field rendering. It creates high-quality real-time rendered environments by combining multiple photos. Here's an example I'll run from one of the Gaussian Splat libraries. You can see the level of detail in the rendering is significantly different from photogrammetry or 3D mesh because it doesn't rely on polygon objects or textures to display the 3D world. Instead, it uses multiple disc-like splats, a unique shape that creates a visual illusion for humans to perceive depth. The results are impressive, displaying minute details effectively. When we started exploring this creative approach, we realized that this technology has great potential in digital twin creation. Today, most digital twins are created through light scanners or built from scratch using software like AutoCAD. This creates a barrier for users who want to build their digital twins easily. By comparing Gaussian Splat with other methods like photogrammetry or 3D scanning, we found that Gaussian Splat could democratize 3D creation, making it accessible to almost everyone. For a quick glance, you can see that Gaussian Splat can be used to create various scenarios, from object-level details to large-scale city environments. Let's click on a few examples. These creations are generated from massive photo collections, making the process accessible to end users. We also have an internal pipeline to automatically create Gaussian splat files from capture devices, significantly enhancing efficiency. Imagine if everyone had the capability to create 3D assets. Naturally, it becomes our responsibility to enable them to edit these assets within a digital software environment like Spatial Work. Since its release, Spatial Work has supported 3D scan data, including point cloud data and general 3D meshes like OBJ files. As of today, with this new version, we now support Gaussian splat files, allowing them to be directly edited within the platform. Let me show you how to get started. First, ensure you have a Gaussian splat file generated using supported platforms. While our generation pipeline is available for enterprise users, you can use other platforms to create Gaussian splat files. Once you have the file, go to your media library in the client portal. Navigate to the Others folder because Gaussian splat files have a .ply extension. Click Upload. Choose your Gaussian splat file and upload it directly. For demonstration, I'll upload a project we did with a team in Indonesia committed to building one of the largest artificial coral reefs. The file is around 700 MB, typical for Gaussian splat files and less compressed, which may limit viewing and sharing capabilities. Once uploaded, go to Spatial Work, create a new project, and import the file by pressing Ctrl Shift I. Select the uploaded file and ensure you choose the Gaussian splat format. Importing it as a point cloud scanner format also .ply, won't activate the Gaussian splat rendering pipeline. Spatial Work is likely the first digital twin software to enable Gaussian splat editing. You can perform transformations, add other 3D objects, and integrate them seamlessly. For example, adding a small robot alongside your Gaussian splat object shows how well they integrate, a feature rare in other digital twin platforms. You can also import multiple Gaussian splat objects, such as industry site captures, segmented due to environmental scale. Use spatial work to stitch them together, visually calibrating overlapping areas. Beyond editing Gaussian splat files, you can integrate them with other data types, such as visual positioning maps, powered by the Immersal SDK, or IoT sensor data, creating holistic digital twin experiences. Previously, Building detailed 3D environments for spaces like offices was tedious and almost impossible. 
Photogrammetry struggled with fine details, but now, with our Gaussian Splat Runtime Editor, you can capture minute details like text on screens or even small objects. We achieved this by using standard cameras with our auto-generation pipeline, extracting feature points from various angles to create the rendering. Remember to join our LinkedIn group and YouTube channel so you are notified as soon as new features and updates are announced. Thank you for watching. See you in another video shortly.